This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, honey! I'm gay. So here's the question! Actually, this is the last episode. <laughs> I forgot to mention. No, but here's the thing. If it's the middle, then what the heck happens? Does she, like, run off with Kay and then we're like... She Ooh. didn't do it? <laughs> Or it's gonna be like, she didn't do it, she was just there for whatever She just happened reason. to be there, and then it's like, well, now we can at least arrest you for mackerel and Fern Far Days, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> Stupid real criminal! Stupid real criminal? Who is it? It's like, she it's not. actually Rebuttal. Damask that just kills him, and then they Damask, kill Damask. killed himself? <laughs> no, no. Oh, or Ronda Damask... like <laughs> No, so Damask 2 kills Manny Cochin. Manny Cochin, and then someone comes in and kills Damask 2, and they're like, oh, uh, let's make some fun with this, and then they swap bodies. <laughs> Okay, and somehow and, well, smuggle the stuff across country borders as well. Eh, it's, it could be someone working. In my eyes, all that you've proven is... Pro proven? proven? She's proven. from Russia. <laughs> Actually, she's not. But. No, she's not. Where is she not from? Zane Fa. When in doubt, they're from Zane. Oh, fun fact that I don't think you know. Zane Fa means Land of the Phoenix. So even when Phoenix Wright's not in the game, he's yep. still a part of it. Yep. <laughs> in my eyes, all you've proved is that the rotating fireplace wall was used. But you can't really call that proof that Yadagarasu used the fireplace dip, now can you? So then, who was it that used the rotating wall? Show me your answer with real evidence. Remember, we've already finished our very thorough investigation. And we found not a single suspicious thing in Mr. Cochin's office. You didn't look in his desk at all? <laughs> like, at all? There was a lot of stuff in there. I mean, he had an entire... Like woodland mushrooms. He had an entire, like, um, Skittles bank. <laughs> he, had the, he had the Skittles book of awesome in there. <laughs> no, he had the Skittles bank, but instead of full of Skittles, it was just full of gold. <laughs> Counterfeit bills. Because it's a bank. I like he's the like, Skittles I, book of awesome like, better. I, he's like, I deposit all my money in the bank, baby. It's like just in a <laughs> Why do bank? we always put baby at the end of creepy guys? <laughs> hey, Cause baby. Because it, it's weird. Because it nobody weird. really calls anyone baby. I feel like. Santa baby. No. Unless if they're creepy. And that song's creepy. That song is creepy. And there you have it. <laughs> my, my counter, counter argument. argument. <laughs> ah! That's very... Impressive. He She's agrees. seen through the fact that I have yet to gather that one piece of evidence. He agrees that Santa Baby is terrifying. <laughs> I, I can't argue with her there. Santa Baby's the worst Christmas song. <laughs> it is, by the way. What is it, Kay? I haven't heard a peep out of you in quite a while now. If you don't think you can handle it, feel free to leave the rest of it to us. But I... Kay, pull yourself together. You are the true heir to the Yadagarasu name, are you not? If you want to steal the truth, then you must never take your eyes off of it. This chase you're running to catch the truth, you must see it through to the very end. She must have been real popular in school. <laughs> what, what do you do for fun, Kay? I pickpocket people! So does Aladdin! <laughs> so does Aladdin! Like, no, seriously, she would be that, like... She was that kid who, like, She's stole that... my gym shoe out of my locker. She was that, always the one weird kid in homeschool group. No. The one really, well, okay. No, she's not a Kevin. Okay, she's not a kid. She's like the, okay, maybe not the really weird person, but she's like the person at the homeschool group who's like really obsessed with one thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's Stealing. Like <laughs> Stealing. That would Kay, never fly. Read the she Ten Commandments. Get, she would get kicked out of a lot of places. Mr. Edgeworth. You're right. I, I will see this through to the end. So, you go get her for me, oh, Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> With pleasure. Looks like a lack of evidence has left you wide open, doesn't it? Sheena, please, show me you're someone I can trust. Don't worry. This will be the deciding match. You'll see. Now take that washcloth off your head. <laughs> Seriously, and they just take it off. It's like her completely black hair. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> I'm truly sorry, Agent Lane, but I simply can't allow her to escape me again. Very well then, Agent Sheena. Shall we begin? I love, I love how for all this Master Uwe is just steady, sitting there like... Oh, that's right, the ambassador is there! This is there. weird! The ambassador is there! He's probably just, like, taking in the show. <laughs> Let's be fair. Hope he has a chair. I'm ready whenever you are. I hope this actually is her last testimony. Sheena's rebuttal! With an emphasis on Al. Oh, I thought you were gonna her. say... Nope, don't even, okay. don't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Luke Jin. That's fine. The Gatewater Imperial Hotel. 
Sounds to me like you're saying my explanation is not good enough. But I was able to go through the revolving door myself! So that should be proof enough even for you, pal! <sighs> it looks like you don't quite understand. By your looks, I can guess you're not all that- you're not all that I've learned. What? That, you're not all that learned. Oh, you're not all that learned. Youch! Talk about rude! You should watch what you say, pal! Sadly, I can't say I disagree with her on that one. But you know what I mean, Ray. You may have proven that the fireplace was used. But you can't really call that proof the Atagarasu used the fireplace now, can you? Hold it! So you want proof that the Atagarasu was the one who used the fireplace? That's right. Well, do you have any? Ah! Can you prove that it wasn't the Yadagarasu who used the fireplace? I don't need to prove anything to you. Ob Objection! Okay, if you could please not steal my line. Sorry, but I just couldn't hold it in anymore! Well, don't fret and leave her to me. All you have to do is sit back and watch. <laughs> you may seem to have some wiggle room, but without any evidence, it's meaningless. So then, who was it? <laughs> who was it? Show me real evidence. <laughs> it was... Casino! It was Plot twist. <laughs> maybe. It's possible that the Yadagarasu left fingerprints inside the fireplace. Not with her arm-length gloves. Sorry, but I had the forensics team check that already. We don't trust you anyway! Like, we wouldn't be like, forensics guy, like... She could have totally paid Oh, forensics guy! Oh she yeah, beautiful totally... woman's asking me to keep quiet! Yes, please! <laughs> yeah, or like... Maybe in exchange, like, for keeping the truth, he's like, Can I take your senior photos? <laughs> oh, yes, she guy... was. She did have senior photos. Yeah, too. yeah. Or not or no, senior no, photos. No, the other guy did. Like, the other guy did. <laughs> oh, is it not the forensics guy? No, it was, it was like a brown-coated guy who had... Oh, the well, they kind of all hang out together. She could totally pay the forensics guy, like, two twenties. <laughs> That's he true. Two twenties. all He doesn't make <laughs> that much money. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> All they found were prints belonging to Ambassador Polano and Mr. Cochin. Curses! I should have known better than to think the Yadagrasu would have been so careless. But there must be some sort of evidence that we still have yet to find. <laughs> I take it you have no further objections. I like the cross-examination music. We've already finished. Hold it. Our very, very thorough investigation. So Interpol has finished examining the entire Babali's embassy? Yes. The investigators who weren't allowed into Alabast were incredibly helpful. They all put in great efforts to search for any sign of the Yadagarasu. <laughs> That's because Alabast is like, maybe only let a couple people in and Baba was like, You want to come to Walt Disney World, Baba? Come oh, on! Yeah, yeah. There's, that's the difference between those em like it's kind of no wonder they're not together. It's like, <laughs> it's, I feel like other than it's, <laughs> what? It's like Alabast is like <laughs> Can you say this? <laughs> I just realized nobody's going to get the reference. Not even me. Probably not even you. Oh. It's like, it's like Kung Fu Panda, where it's like, oh, Master Ugo is like, Kung Fu is this very sacred thing. We can only let like, yeah, a few right, people. Right, right. Where it's like, but also, everyone should know Kung Fu. <laughs> yeah, it's like the dumb, like, every when everybody's super nobody is. Yeah, basically. Type of situation. They all, yeah, I already read that. Oh, yeah, sorry. I did. Objection! And yet, despite all of that effort, it appears that they failed to notice the lack of ash in the office fireplace. Furthermore, you were the one who inspected the room next to Mr. Cochin's, correct? I didn't notice the ash there in the fireplace of that room. For that, I'm sorry. You don't need to apologize, Sheena! As your boss, your mistakes are my mistakes. Great! I'm taking you down with All me! Alright, <laughs> so allow me to apologize for you. I'm sorry. You know, maybe this guy's not such a bad guy after all. All you have to do is start handing out 220s for us to think that. He apologizes for his support and everything. What a great boss. Are you saying that I don't do anything for my own subordinates? You kind of don't, Edgeworth. You're very... <laughs> you're like... Edgeworth... Ed Don't shoot your worthless. Edgeworth is like the Bettys for Candace. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yes! You, I get, you get the oh, amazing award of, like, cleaning up my bookshelves. Oh, <laughs> yes! I'm so excited! <laughs> Yay! A pretty toilet! For <laughs> Literally! That yeah. is Edgeworth to, like, come to. <laughs> Back! No, 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 nothing of the sort, sir. You're someone I really respect, sir. Even if you are a bit too strict sometimes. That's only a problem on your end. <laughs> wow! Wow! <laughs> wow! Way to be super hard on him in response! 
Am I really too strict on everyone? Yeah, just a little. Just a little. It's your prosecutor coming out. Anyway, Sheena, you didn't find anything in Mr. Cochin's office, right? That's right. We finished our investigation. I thought she had like four testimonies, not we two. We found not a single suspicious thing. So you really didn't find anything? Yes, as I said, not one suspicious thing. <laughs> so did you bake anything? anything. <laughs> That's my ingredients, ingredients talked. <laughs> Although, as you already know, we did find the Adagarasu's key in the document detailing the smuggling operation. But we still haven't found the, the blade that belongs to the Bobbley's knife handle yet. Ha! <laughs> you see? My subordinates worked hard to investigate everything. They'll be like, Sheena, um, look underneath your choker. <laughs> it's like, the blade. <laughs> She's the actually blade. a knife eater. Or a sword eater, whatever. Oh, dude, that'd be nuts. I don't if I had a wretch in me, I would wretch. Yep. So there was nothing else to find, though, right? Wow, Adrian really sticks up for his people. I mean, Lane seems like he'd be a good guy to work for, honestly. I thought that was a water bottle, but it's not. <laughs> Lane Z says, drink water. <laughs> oh. All men are brothers, and friends become family. I respect that, yeah. <laughs> so you see, my people are my family, and their families are my family too. That's why I cut that guy's present for his younger brother's wife's younger brother. <laughs> That's a rather large family you have there. Yes, but as we all know, there is always one black sheep in any family. And though it pains me, Agent 9, you will know the black sheep in your family. So, do you actually have any proof that the Autogarasa used the fireplace passageway? No, I haven't found any yet. Then what are we going to do? Hmm. <laughs> There's no need to worry. Because there is a loophole in Miss Interpol Agent's argument we can exploit first. The one in charge of the Babaliza investigation was not Agent Lane. Which means that with Agent Shina in charge, it's possible she may have tampered with the evidence. That piece of evidence that we found... If there is one thing I do know, it is that someone tried to hide it from us. <laughs> Probably this one. Alright, what suspicious things did we find in the Bob We Lisa? found We the... found the wire! <laughs> I mean, we did, but... I it was in the that. grandfather clock. Yeah, that's pretty weird. Uh, we also found the paper. That's just his testimony. No, not the testimony, like the paper paper, like the kill Oh, him. yeah. No, the other paper paper, that, go back. The orange paper that's like, steal the, oh, let's just the wire, oh my gosh. Objection! Hmm. Well, you say that you and your agents have finished your thorough investigation. Are you absolutely certain that you didn't overlook anything? Well, aren't we full of ourselves standing there insulting Interpol agents? You'd better not be insinuating that my men are incompetent, Mr. Prosecutor. I'd never do that. However, it doesn't change the fact that they did overlook something. I'd like for you to take a look at this length of wire. And what exactly is this supposed to mean? You're sweating, baby. A length of wire? So what about it? I'll tell you what, we found this in the Babalese Embassy not long ago. What? And we found it wound up inside the grandfather clock in Mr. Cochin's office. You found that? At the scene of Mr. Cochin's murder? She's like, oh shoot, I'm dead. <laughs> but this wire wasn't all we found. We found one other very important thing. There's more? In Mr. Cochin's office? There were signs that someone had burned counterfeit bills there. What in the- Yeah! Oh, never mind. Ukwe's not here. I thought oh, he was. Kay's like, fight, fight, fight! That evidence was something you found through that girl's machine, right? So what if it was? Ah, uh, that's what I thought. But unfortunately for you, a recreation made by a she machine is hardly concrete. This too. isn't like physical data. This is like, we actually found this in the legit grand grandfather clock. Among the ashes you found in the room, did you happen to find any counterfeit bills? No. You see? So there was nothing in that office. Nothing you can call evidence anyway. Objection! The wire was there though. I'm sorry, but I seem to have given you the wrong impression. How so? I don't recall saying that I was presenting evidence of any sort. 
but rather I was pointing out that your investigation was incomplete. And that this throws doubt on the purity of your investigation into the Yadagarasu. You still suspect me, I see. Well, you did laugh exactly like Callisto you, so yeah, we do. <laughs> Alright then, I ask that you point out what part of my investigation's incomplete. The other Interpol agents worked under the command of Agent Shina. And it is- is it not possible that the reason the person K was chasing close to the- chose the second floor? The third floor? I- uh, yeah, inner monologue is- oh, oh, too many Pop Rocks. <laughs> what? You, Edgeworth would never have Pop Rocks. Ever. That's, that's true. Like, if Edgeworth's gonna have candy- Too much oolong tea. That doesn't make you that crazy. It makes you a little crazy, but not no. that much. Well, if, if Edgeworth was gonna eat any candy, he would be like- high Butterscotch hard candies. <laughs> yeah. Or like those, um, peppermints. J Japanese cola candy. No, not that. Mochi. Mmm, mochi. Was that because that person knew that there would be no other agents on that floor? Furthermore, we've come to see that Agent Shina was only pretending to be investigating the Yadagarasu to the point of arresting Kei. In that case, there is one location that no one has yet to inspect. Your team's investigation was incomplete because they failed to inspect this location. Failed to inspect the fireplace, I think. Okay, I'll go check it out right now, sir. Be right back. We already went over that area with a fine-toothed comb. Really, then you would have found all of the ashes, girl. Yeah. I'm sorry. And I've heard that there are extensively detailed reports about that area as well. I have also heard the reports. No, you haven't! A actually, thinking back on it, I checked out that area pretty well already, too. I guess that means we really don't need to check that area anymore, right, Mr. Edgeworth? Hmm. <laughs> well, if that is everyone's opinion, then I suppose not. <laughs> Whatever happened to trusting in your own instinct? She doesn't- she does have me there. That wasn't well, that bad. Well, Edgeworth, if you're wrong, it'll be this much! It'll be this much of a penalty! <laughs> The location Agent Shina is, of course, the room you claim to have examined. I believe the room next to Mr. Cochin's office warrants a thorough inspection. Even if you do that, I doubt you'll find anything of use to you in there. <laughs> I will be the one to decide that. Detective Gumshoe? Yes, sir! I'm on it! I'll be right back after I check out that room next to the office! Gumshoe's pretty competent in this, honestly. While Francisca's about to whip someone. Someone better block the doors, just in case Sheena tries mm -hmm. to do the exact same thing again. Hey, Mr. Edgeworth, do you really think that Miss Sheena's the Yadagarasu? Did you hear her laugh? <laughs> yes, if my logic is sound, I believe she is. Then I'm not going to let her get away with ruining the name of the Yadagarasu. I brought a gun. <laughs> Why does Kay think she's the Yadagarasu anyway? Because her dad's diary is like, I was the Yadagarasu. That could have been forged. She also has little feet. Yeah, but like... Can you prove she's the Yadagarasu in question? If Detective Gumshoe can find what I'm hoping he will find, then I should be able to. And just what are you hoping he'll find? Let's just say this. I had Detective Gumshoe do a little experiment for me earlier. An experiment? As if that detective has the brains for high science. It wasn't that mentally taxing. I had him use the same escape route as the Yadagarasu. And what did you find out by doing that? First, that it's possible for a person to fit through the revolving wall door. Second, that by going through there, his coat was covered in ash and Bobbily's ink. Who cares what his coat was covered in? It's not worth that much anyway. Ah, but is it really worth so little? I believe that it's actually quite a meaningful result, the value of which I'm about to prove. Mr. Edgeworth, I found some things you really need to see, sir! Oh? So what are these things that you found? You'll never believe it. I found a whole Snickers bar in this, <laughs> in this dresser. <laughs> I also found Aladdin. He tried pickpocketing me. <laughs> um, some makeup, a coat, and a pair of shoes, sir. There's makeup in there, huh? <laughs> makeup! Makeup! You found a coat? You hear that, Mr. Edgeworth? Maybe it's the one the person I was chasing was wearing. Yes, the possibility does exist. I think it might be the makeup, though, because she had so much freaking lipstick. <laughs> it's like that lady who making the lipstick cake we just watched. 
How can you oh. put on more lipstick? <laughs> <laughs> that, I, I was dying of laughter at that. <laughs> My New Year's resolution is to wear more lipstick. How? <laughs> Agent Sheena, yeah. were these the pieces of self evidence not in that room when you examined it? Unfortunately for you, those aren't suspicious items of any sort. They all belong to me. They were getting in my way, so I stored them in that room. Thanks for admitting that. Aww. Thank you for bringing them to me. It saves me a trip. May I have them back now? These items that the detective brought back are incredibly significant. I request that we be allowed to examine them. They're my personal belongings, so you have no right to touch them without my permission. I wish to examine them for the sake of the investigation. But if you wish to deny us access to them, Agent Lane, let's hear your opinion on this. I say let them look at your stuff, Sheena. Lane! Sheena, let's put it all out in the open. If you're really innocent, then you have nothing to worry about, right? I guess so. Alright, go ahead and examine whatever you'd like. Thanks, Lane! You're a pal! After all, I have nothing to hide. <laughs> Good. Now let us begin. It's actually just a normal lady who just happens to have the same life as Kelly still you. <laughs> that would be weird. That would be dumb. <laughs> so, oh, so which of Agent Shina's belongings are we going to examine, sir? Well, let's start. I want let's start with the stupid one. Shoes. Like nobody. Let us let shoes. us examine her shoes. <laughs> She's going around barefoot right now. Or does she bring a spare pair of shoes? <laughs> okay. The, it makes sense that she might bring a spare pair of shoes because she might have like. If they were- were they invited to the speech? Uh, they're Interpol thing? agents. They're Interpol agents? Okay. If you're a girl in Interpol, you probably have she, she's like actual wearing... good shoes that you can walk in and like crazy high heels or heel Like boots. you're going to a Catalian? Yes, literally. Okay. No, yesterday I had to wear- my mom wanted me to wear like heeled boots to church. I like ripped them off as soon as I got home because I'm like, I hate heels. I'm just picturing like- Jesus and Ramona at, like, Aunt Beatrice's wedding <laughs> with, like, the really tiny shoes that are too- It's not even the tiny shoes, it's that you're, like- You're always elevated. on your tippy toes. You're always on your- and it's- it's your arch that really hurts. Yeah. Like, yeah. you get, like, a twisted ankle sometimes. I have a lot of respect for any but woman who can wear high heels and, like, be comfortable in them. Let's huh. examine her shoes. Hmm, there doesn't appear to be anything particularly odd about them. Hey, Mr. Prosecutor, you know what they say about men who stare at women's shoes for too long, right? Where is this going? Ah, uh, how scandalous. No. <laughs> how scandalous. <laughs> I am merely doing my job, Agent Lane. I don't see how that warranted a comment. Now then, there is some dirt on the soles, but otherwise they seem perfectly normal. I guess there really wasn't anything suspicious about Agent Shinar's shoes. I suppose not. Let's move on and examine something else. Let's examine her shoes again! <laughs> no! no! Makeup. I believe I'll examine her makeup. Hmm? What is this? Looks like a very thin paintbrush. It's a lip brush. It's for putting on my lipstick. And making, That's not a thing! <laughs> and making happy little trees. <laughs> a lip brush? Wait, I put on makeup. I've never heard of that. It's fancy Russian. Unless if she's like... I don't know. The only other thing I can think of, although this would be so freaking hard to do that I don't see how she would be able to do this, is if she did like, um... You know how, like, when you see, like, geishas or maikos, they have, like, the painted face? Mm -hmm. And sometimes they'll, like, be their painted neck and, like, the back. Um, if that paintbrush was just to paint herself more white, <laughs> not that that's a good thing. But that would conceal, like... The freckles uh, and stuff. Well, and it would conceal that she's Callisto U. Because Callisto U looks very different. Right. Skin tone-wise. I found something weird with a lot of weird powder inside, sir. That's just foundation powder in there. It's nothing to get worked up over. Wow, you two sure know a lot about makeup. Well, Francisca probably wears it. I think I need to confiscate the them for a bit. Ooh, I never knew makeup consisted of this stuff too. Hmm, I see. What? Ooh. Do you like makeup, or are you like no? I'm kind of here. I'm kind of on the fence about it, and here's part of why. I feel like most girls wear makeup to kind of like hide and have like a mask on. The reason I wear makeup is to either conceal acne or to like enhance a feature. So like I like mm. mascara because that actually does make a difference. But like if you put on, no one no one gives a crap if you put on blush. 
You know what I mean? Like, it's true. No one noticed it. Also, my mom was like, "You need blush on your face," and like put it and like put it on. Rouge. <laughs> no, it was not rouge. Mascara, <laughs> lipstick, and rouge. No, and like lipstick, I've worn a few to, times. To all you like, ladies out there, I think women look better without lipstick. Just throwing that out there. Yeah, well, clearly, because you were the one who was laughing at the guy saying. Ow! Okay, well, <laughs> lipstick lady on Great British, British Bake, Bake Off. Off. Like, okay, you're supposed to wear lipstick. On your lips. She's wearing them beyond her lips, for sure. Ronald McDonald. <laughs> Miranda sings. She seems to be completely absorbed in her study of cosmetics and Great British Bake Off. <laughs> I guess there really wasn't anything suspicious in Agent Shinaw's makeup. I suppose not. Let us move on and examine something else. It was actually, oh no, poisonous clown makeup. <laughs> Let's examine the coat. Yes, sir! It appears you managed to stain your coat rather badly. Agent Shinaw. The autograsser that Kay saw was wearing a coat. And I'm beginning to wonder if this stain wasn't created when you went through the fireplace. I ran through the car wash and the stuff. No, not the car wash. <laughs> what? No, I, I ran going... through the car wash. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's so wet and it looks different. No, I was going to say, like, she spilled oil all over it when trying to fix her car. Oh. You know how, like, you replace the oil? But it was like a oops. That's her mechanics oops. coat. Oops. <laughs> oh, whoops. Oh, whoops. <laughs> yeah, oh. yeah. Like that. Uh, no, you have it wrong. That soot probably got on my coat when I was helping the police put out the fire. She's also, good. I She's good at lying. Also, she loves going to bonfires. <laughs> bonfires. James Bond fires. Not bonfires. <laughs> and what about this dark substance around the hem of your coat? Oh, I didn't realize that the hem was that dirty. I'm sure it's just some water mixed with soot from when I was helping with the fire. I was gonna say blackberries. Personally. <laughs> I, ate, I really, really like blackberries and no, plums. Okay, when you eat like frozen berries, it's like twice the crazy explosion of color mm -hmm. where I've like eaten it and I'm like, all right, like I'm gonna oh. like brush my teeth and then like the rest of the day I have a blue tongue. Oh. Uh, the last few times I went to Meyer Raspberries were at a dollar for a pack. Ooh. I like just bought four packs, took eat a pack to work. Every yeah, day. yeah, because you can you you basically eat an entire package of those. Like, yeah. and I feel I find raspberries like sometimes they're really, really good and sometimes they're. Like, nah, nah. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Oh, see. I don't think so. You think you can get away with such a transparent lie? Yeah, don't lie to us, pal. This is the same pattern of dirt that got on my coat when I went through the fireplace. Your words ring hollow in the absence of evidence, you know. So unless you can prove that the dirt on my coat is from the fireplace... Which I can. <coughs> you did a great job, Detective Gumshoe. Huh? M me, sir? What did I do? This coat? This is exactly the piece of evidence I was searching for. I had been hoping to find the coat that the person Case saw was wearing. And thanks to you, we proved that the going through the fireplace would sully a coat. I don't quite get what you're saying, but I'm happy for the praise, sir! All that remains is for us to show what the dark substance on the coat hem is. Oh? And you think you can do that? Of course I can. Oh, is it the Babbley's oil? This is the dark substance that sullied the hem of the coat. Is it the Babbley's ink? Take that! As people can see, I'm no longer doing, like, every realm guess now. Because they're yeah, not as funny in this. They aren't. Bobbly's ink? Yes, this is what will prove that the coat went through that fireplace. According to Ambassador Paleno, he burned some f f uh, files in the fireplace this morning. I almost said flies. <laughs> I would also burn some flies. You told us about that already, so I don't really see the point in mentioning it again. My point is that he spilled some ink onto the back wall of the fireplace at that time. You sweating now. If the dark substance on this coat turns out to be Bobbly's ink, it would prove that you and this coat went through the revolving fireplace wall. <laughs> there goes your washcloth. Sorry to have clipped one of your wings, Yadagarasu, but we're not finished yet. But, but you have no way of proving whether or not this Bobbly's ink is on the coat hem. Oh, but I do. And I intend to show that it is ink in a few seconds. How? How, you ask? Well, since you don't seem to know, allow me to show you. This is how I will prove the dark substance on the is coat is Bobbly's ink. Is he gonna set the coat on fire? <laughs> Touch the coat. Oh, wear the coat. Wear the coat. Wear the coat. <laughs> we will know if someone were to wear the coat. Detective Gumshoe. Model for us. Wait. You're trying to ruin my coat. 
You don't honestly believe that the tub of lard can fit into my coat, do you? Yeah, she's like uh, a stick and oh, yeah. she was like uh, a brick. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that rhymed! I love it! Very well, Franziska, will you please try that on? There is absolutely no point in me wearing that gaudy coat. <laughs> I like that coat! She's like, oh, such my favorite black coat! Hey, you're not really that mad, are you, Machina? Well, it's not my fault if she is. Because it's yours, Miles Edgeworth! You and your ridiculous suggestion! W why is it my fault? Because you were stupid. I need to use a method she can't refuse. Also, her coat probably wouldn't fit Franziska either. Wait, we didn't try try. Oh, Touch oh, the coat. okay, sorry. Touch the coat. By texture, we should be able to tell what the substance is. Okay, then I'll give it a feel, sir. It feels kind of rough. Thank you for that frivolous comment. <laughs> now, if you could please feel the stain on the hem. Ah, my fingers got all dirty when I touched the dark spot, sir. The set fire to confuse hands. <laughs> they got dirty, did they? I knew it. So it must be bobbleezing. Just because his fingers got dirty, that's your way of proving it's bobbley's ink. Sorry, but any ink in the world would make one's fingers dirty. No. <laughs> Ah, I should have known better. It's useless to use such a far-fetched tactic. I need to use a method that Agent Shina can't refute. We can find out whether that is bobbly zinc or not by lighting it on fire. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you're gonna prove it's bobbly's ink? Yes, if you could please cut a section of the dark stained area oh, for okay. me, I'd appreciate it. I thought he was just gonna be like, <laughs> let it burn! <laughs> because I will show you here and now what the dark substance really is. Shina... Sorry to do this to you, but I'm gonna have to cut off a bit of your coat. Go ahead. I wasn't planning to wear it anymore anyway. Now then, if someone could loan me a lighter or something. Oh, I've got some matches! I always carry them with me so I can light snow smoke bombs! Not snoke bombs, that's- <laughs> That's stuff. That's in Star Wars Episode Nine. Snoke Is that bombs. <laughs> <laughs> I heard there's gonna be light to save an eye. Or... I thought Francisco was gonna be like, I always have a match with me. <laughs> or something weird like that. <laughs> oh, then if I could please have one K, we can get this experiment underway. The flame! It's the same color as the flames wit crystal oil produces. Which means Bobbly Zinc is a product of wit crystal oil. What else is a product of wit crystal oil? And when lit, the ink produces a green flame. Hm. I believe the time has come to clip the Yadagorasu's of her wing. Miss Sheena. You're the fake Yadagorasu! The one who killed my father! It's about time you came clean, Agent Sheena. Or should I say, Callisto you? starts laughing her head off. Hey, Mr. Prosecutor, you're not serious, are you? Do I look like the joking type to you? <sighs> Callisto, you. I've never heard that name before in my life. That manner of speaking and that attitude. You haven't changed a bit in seven years. You're the defense attorney that killed Mr. Farney and then tried to frame me for it. Oh, really? And you have proof? You insist that I miss a Callisto, you woman. But you can't prove it? If you have no proof, then I'm afraid you won't be able to lay a single finger on me. The raven is a very unique bird, one that flies by the darkness of night. However, the light of dawn has arrived and it will reveal your true ugly form to the world. Enough poetry. I want to see some evidence. Do you really have something that can prove that she is Callisto Yu? I do. It's something that the second Yadagorasu has preserved for us for these last seven years. Do me the honor, Mr. Edgeworth. I will, Kay, for we have finally come to the end of middle part three. <laughs> we'll prove her to be Callisto you with this and clip the Yadagorasu's wings Whoa, are for you good. you're gonna pull a knife on her? Sam! No homework tonight. Um, oh, her, uh, her freaking perfume. Take that! This perfume, this will prove to be you, this will prove you to be Callisto you. It will. Kay has preserved it perfectly for us. Surely you remember this bottle. This belonged to Miss Yu just before she disappeared seven years ago. Naturally, this means that a few of her fingerprints are on here as well. Oh! This is that bottle of perfume you spilled, which I have preserved ever since. I heard from my father, Burn Faraday, that if stored under the right conditions, a fingerprint can be preserved for decades. Which means that your fingerprints are still on here. Every last one. 
we can clear everything up if we were to compare the prints on this to your own. Now come, Agent Sheena, will you submit yourself to a fingerprint test? No. That's a really creepy breakdown. <laughs> it looks like you've seen right through me yet again.